A third of all the people in the world are overweight. In Germany, more than half of all adults need to lose some kilos, especially men. Wouldn't it be great if there was an easy way to melt away those extra pounds? A team of researchers under the leadership of Alexander Pfeiffer at Bonn University's Institute of Pharmacology and Toxicology is investigating how unwanted fat can be removed from the body. The first thing to understand is that not all fat is the same. There are brown fat cells and white fat cells. White cells are the body's biggest energy storers, while brown fat cells are energy consumers, like a kind of furnace that we have in our bodies. Extra fat in the belly, legs and bottom is made up of white fat cells. They're relatively large and each contains a single drop of fat that stores energy. White fat makes up about a fifth of an average person's body weight. Too much of it causes problems. If you consume too much energy, your white fat cells get thicker and fatter, and the cells increase in mass, so you gain weight. The problem is that white fat cells are prone to inflammation, and that can lead to secondary diseases like diabetes, heart disease, or even some kinds of cancer that are associated with obesity. But the cells of brown fat tissue contain many small drops of fat, which they burn to keep the body at a constant temperature. Adults generally have about 50 grams of brown fat in the neck and shoulder area. The scientists in Bonn have now discovered the molecule in the body that activates the brown cells. The neuromodulator adenosine docks onto receptors in their membrane and stimulates them to begin burning fat. In mice, this leads to a rise in body temperature. To determine the role that adenosine plays in brown fat, we destroy the adenosine receptors in mice. You can clearly see that the mice that lack receptors are cooler. This infrared image shows that the mouse with intact receptors and normal adenosine levels can activate its brown fat tissue. The white spot is where the mouse's body is very hot because the mouse's brown fat has been activated. The researchers wondered whether white fat cells could be transformed into brown fat cells, leading to more fat being burned and thus weight loss. White fat usually can't be activated like brown fat because the cells lack adenosine receptors. But in a mouse, if a white fat cell is given a gene for these receptors, they form and the white cells begin burning fat like brown ones. The result? The mice lose weight. We're looking for starting points for therapy of obesity and adiposity. Adenosine could be such a starting point, inducing brown fat cells to consume energy, and also turning white cells into brown ones that not only store but also burn energy. But it will be years before the work might lead to an easy therapy for weight loss. Until then, people who are overweight will just have to continue exercising and watching what they eat.